Hi, my name's Angela and I'm with Survival Quilting at APQS Raleigh. And the other day I posted something talking about a pen mouse. And you can see I've taped over the ends of my pen mouse because I've actually been playing with it a little bit more. I'm getting ready to teach a four day intensive class, hands-on class with QuiltPath um, online. And I wanted to play with it before the class started. So one of the things I found out is I don't have to use the little laser uh, light on it. I can just put my hands on my long arm, and I have another mouse I want to show you, so you're going to see a second one sitting there. Um, and then once I hit the add button up here, I can just click as I'm going, and it's going to keep selecting the same button. So I don't have to actually use the laser on it. This other mouse is something called a finger mouse, and normally you would wear it on your middle finger, and you would have it sitting this way on your finger, right? Um, and then you would use this finger to click the button. Well, the finger part of it will go around your long arm. So you don't need to put any other Velcro on it at all. Um, the little Velcro strap that goes around your finger can actually be stretched to go around the handles of your long arm. And then it will do the same thing. You can see I'm just continuing where I'm going. And I can get relatively tight circles moving my long arm quickly. So both of these are awesome products. Um, they will both work the same way. Um, this one, you're just going to strap it to your long arm. I would use electrical tape on the ends of either one of these so that you're not, you don't have those bright lasers shining anywhere. Um, but they're working great. So if you haven't, um, gotten one or the other ones yet. I'll actually put a link up for the finger mouse as well um, so that you can choose which one you want and I strongly encourage getting one of the two of these for using in marking tool like I was just doing in fabric compensation or using multipoint. I'm planning to put more videos like this up on my YouTube channel. If you like this content please subscribe to my channel and click like so that I know that you liked it and I would love to see you um, interact with my YouTube channel and post comments. Once again, Angela with Threadwaggle Quilting and APQS Raleigh, and I hope you're having a good day.